All right, we've been telling you about Chief Justice Roberts issuing a rare, blistering rebuke to Chuck Schumer for these remarks at a pro-choice rally. I want to tell you, Gorsuch, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind and you will pay the price. You won't know what hit you if you go forward with these awful decisions. Wow. And Justice Roberts isn't the only one upset. GOP Senator Josh Hawley tweeting this out. I would call the Schumer to apologize, but we all know he has no shame. So tomorrow I will introduce a motion to censure Schumer for his pathetic attempt of intimidation on the Supreme Court. Here to react, Fox News senior judicial analyst, host of Liberty File, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Judge, was that a threat that, as you heard it legally? No, I don't think legally it was a threat. I think it was uh, hyperbolic, it was excessive use of words, and it was an attempt to intimidate, but it's protected speech. A threat where you have the present apparent ability to cause the harm you're threatening is not protected speech, but this is. Mm -hmm. However, this effort to politicize the court, to make them look like they can be intimidated by a mob outside uh, the courthouse, is very, very dangerous to our system. We put in the hands of nine human beings the ability to decide what the laws mean and what the Constitution means, and we accept those decisions because they have the moral authority to make them. When we begin to look at them as politicians in black robes instead of as the nine, it undermines respect for law, and that's the danger. Uh, from what Senator Schumer said. It also doesn't make sense what he said. His problem is with the Louisiana legislature that wrote the statute that's being construed. At the time he said that, uh, Justice Gorsuch and Justice Kavanaugh hadn't uttered a, a peep about this statute. But, Judge, you know that on big case days like yesterday in front of the Supreme Court, you always have hyperbolic statements being made by people from different pro political points of view. But to have the highest ranking Democrat in the U.S. Senate make a threat and say, those two guys, you two are going to pay the price. What could he possibly have meant by well, you're judge, going to pay think, the price? Think about who's listening to that. Somebody's going to hear, oh, yeah, they should pay the price. What it stupid sounds stuff, dangerous. That's what what stupid stuff like. might somebody do? What else could well, I do? It, he, he might actually be sending a dog whistle to crazies out there. Look, I don't believe he will succeed in intimidating anybody in the court, which is why we give them life tenure and they wear black robes and they operate largely uh, in secrecy and it induces Judge. respect. But if more of this happens, they will not have the respect and it will undermine the rule of law. So jo Josh Hawley is going to introduce this motion to censure. What does that mean? What does censure mean? <sighs> Censure is a condemnation by the Senate of particular acts of one of its members. This is very rare. I don't blame Senator Hawley for doing this, but knowing Senator McConnell, who controls the what happens on the floor, and I don't think that's going to happen. How significant is this when Justice Roberts comes out and says threatening statements of this sort from the highest levels of government are not only inappropriate, they are dangerous. All members of the court will continue to do their job without fear or favor from whatever quarter. I applaud the Chief Justice for saying that. I never heard that in, in all the years I've been studying the Supreme Court. I don't believe a Chief Justice has ever had to do that because I don't believe the Senate minority or majority leader ever stood in front of the courthouse and said to a justice, you're going to pay for that. If he's got a problem with the president for nominating uh, Justices Gorsuch right. and Kavanaugh and with the Senate for confirming them, he can, he can say whatever he wants. But to say you're going to pay for it is reprehensible. There's no place for that dialogue in our society. I remember when uh, President Obama in, at the State of the Union in front of the Supreme Court sitting right down there said, you guys got it wrong on Citizens United. Yes. That's different than threatening. Yes. Listen, this is protected speech. I condemn what Schumer said, but will defend to the death his right to say it. But it is dangerous speech if more people pick up totally on it. Totally irresponsible. Let's forget about yeah. legally. Totally irresponsible. Absolutely. Well, let's see. Maybe he was saying you're going to pay the price because these women that are pro-choice will be against you. Doesn't matter who's for them or against them. They have a lifetime job. Right. The judiciary is the is the anti-democratic branch of government. Its job is not to see what the people want. Its job is to protect rights that are guaranteed by the Constitution. Focus getting on the election will be that Supreme Court justice position that's most likely going to be uh, open with Justice Ginsburg I, getting up there. I would years. think so. And 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 you know this may backfire on uh, Senator Schumer by making this more of an issue in the campaign. All right, but I don't know how many of the other you know, channels when I, when are actually talking about You know what, when I heard he said this, 
I didn't believe it. I had to go and listen to right. the tape to make sure I heard it right. Right, his lack of apology is stunning. Meanwhile, you can catch more of a uh, great insight like this from Judge Napolitano, uh, virtually free on Fox Nation at foxnation.com. And this month is Justice Month, yes. where we're going to seek justice. And for 99 cents, you get a free month. Today, I'm attacking the Patriot Act. Oh, really? Yes. Don't you do that every day? Almost. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing it for years. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Judge.